Hello, this is Nicole with Cutting Edge Crafts, and today I'm going to be sharing a really quick video on how you can use Inkscape to create faux stitching on your Cricut projects. Today's tutorial uses Inkscape 0.92, and some parts of the technique I'll be sharing today are not available in the previous release. So if you want to follow along, make sure that your copy of Inkscape has been updated to the latest versions. We're going to start by opening Inkscape and clicking on the Document Properties button. Set your display units and your custom size units to inches, and set your scale to 72 units per inch. I'm going to change my custom drawing area size to 6 inches by 6 inches, just to make it easier to gauge how large things are. You can use this technique on any shape, but for the sake of simplicity in this tutorial, I am going to use a circle tool to draw my shape. I am drawing a circle that is approximately 3 inches by 3 inches. You will notice that the fill of my circle is turned on and the stroke or outline is turned off. This will allow me to set the size of my circle to exactly 3 inches by 3 inches. I will double check to make sure that the size is correct by selecting the circle and clicking on my selection tool button. This will allow me to set the x and y dimensions of my circle to 3 inches each. Then I will make a copy of my circle by selecting it and then selecting Edit Copy and Edit Paste. Select the second shape and from the Path menu select Path Dynamic Offset. You can then double click on the shape and select the single node. As you pull it towards the center of the shape, you will create a smaller shape whose path is offset from the first shape. I'm going to center the first shape with the second shape, but first I want to change the color of the second shape so that the next few steps are easier to see. Click your alignment tool button with both shapes selected and click to align them horizontally and vertically. You can adjust your offset by double clicking and adjusting the offset node until you get the ex offset exactly how you want it to look. Then click the fill and stroke toolbar button and from the Fill tab, turn off the fill of the second shape. Also, from the Stroke Paint tab, turn the stroke on. Select the Stroke Style tab and change the stroke width to 2 pixels, then change your dashes to one of the dash patterns that, you, that looks most like stitching to you. You can choose whichever dash pattern you like best. I chose 2 pixels for my width because this affects the length of the dashes and spaces. Feel free to experiment with the stroke width and see how it affects the dash line. Now you will select the first shape, and from the Path menu, you will select Object to Path. Do the same with the second inset shape. Double check that the second object has been changed to a path by double clicking the shape and making sure that there is more than one node. Then with the second object still selected, select Extensions, Modify Path, and Convert to Dashes. Now if you take a closer look at that second shape, you will see that there are nodes at the end of each of the dashes. When you cut this out with your Cricut, it will look like faux stitching. To finish up your file, you can select both shapes and then select Combine from the Path tab. You can then select a fill color that Design Space will read when you import it. If you do not select a fill color, the shape will import with a black fill. This is easy to change in Design Space, but it can make it difficult to see what your image looks like when you first import it. That's it! All you need to do is save your image and bring it into Design Space. One last thing to keep in mind is that the dashes won't adjust when you scale your object in Design Space. So if you'd like to create other sizes for your shape, it's best to come back to Inkscape and create another shape with the dimensions that you desire. If you like this tutorial, please make sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications when I release new videos. Links to my Facebook page and website are linked in the description, so be sure to check those out too. Thanks for stopping by!